Welcome to Flavors of Belize. I am Chef Sean Quillen and today we're going to be making tostones with shrimp and guacamole. What is tostones? Green plantain, starchy ones. You know when they get ripe, the plantain, the, sugar, the starch turn into sugars? That's good for rice and beans, but today we're going to use the green plantain. Fry it. It's a double fry technique. Um, you first, you cut it like in one inch and then you fry it. You take it out, you mash it and then you fry it again. So you peel the plantain. One thing when you peel plantains, potatoes and stuff, usually you hear about oxidation. What is oxidation? Is that the oxygen will hit the, attack the um, starch, no? So it becomes black. So you could, if you want to store this, you put it in water. So we cut the plantains and we put them in the hot oil. All right, while that's frying, let's make the guacamole. Avocado, you have the pit inside, so you could cut it down, turn it around, give it a quarter turn, and take the pit out with the back of the knife. A little trick, we're gonna dice it. A little trick, you could do it right in the um, skin, no? With a butter knife, trying to use something sharp and go through. Scoop it out. So like this, it's very easy because you already have it diced, you know? Let's put some tomatoes, onions. I love cilantro, we're gonna put some cilantro in there. And scallions and Lime. What does the lime do? Two purpose. Give it flavor. And remember we talk about oxidation. The lime prevents the avocado from getting black. You could um, puree it or keep it whole. And there you have it. Beautiful, clean guacamole. Okay, look at the plantains. We don't want to cook this fully. Uh, the French would call this blanching. Yes, you think blanching is in water. But usually you want to make a french fry, not frozen and from scratch. You would start your oil a little lower temperature. Put your potatoes, or in this case plantains, starch. What you're doing, you're cooking from the inside. Now, everybody got to see in the house. Tortilla press. Um, this, you could smash this with a bottle or anything hard. You know, but I find that the tortilla press works well. I oil it, you could put plastic bag like you're making panadas, simply smash them, not too hard. Usually if it sticks, you just use your knife and straight back into, crank up the fire, try them again. We're gonna assemble them like an appetizer. We could also use a garlic aioli sauce. What is aioli? It's simply mayonnaise, seasoning, garlic, a lot of garlic. Black pepper, salt, of course. And flavor of Belize, we're talking about habanero pepper, always. That's a nice, beautiful aioli sauce. What this dish calls for is also some shrimp. So we're gonna take some shrimp, season it. Always season, always season, mostly. Black pepper, salt. And interestingly, this one calls for some cornstarch to give it a little texture. So we could coat it with a little cornstarch. And again, in the same oil that we're frying the tostones, you could just go and head and fry these shrimp. Shrimp not take lamp for cook now. So this is ready. So what the cornstarch does is give this beautiful crisp outside and when you bite inside nice and tender beautiful shrimp so to assemble beautiful tostones <laughs> the guacamole be generous huh? and as much shrimp as you like I might put a little three of them right there let's put four and remember the aioli, I simply put it in a squeezy bottle and you could give it a little squeeze and there you have it, one of the many flavors of Belize. 